What's up, Android Fanatics? Tech Fang there from AndroidRoots.com. With me are the Galaxy Nexus GSM. And today I'm going to be showing you how to install the 100% stack 4.1.2 Jelly on your Galaxy Nexus GSM. Now, this method does not require a computer at all, and it only does require you to have Clackle Mod Recovery on your phone. Now, for many of you wondering, but I want the stack one, I want to unroot it, I want like fresh directly from Google. If you want directly fresh from Google, it is a much, uh, it is uh, quite harder than this. It is not hard in general. It's just quite harder than this process. But if you, um, but if you want stack 100% unrooted and you want it safe enough to send back to the Samsung manufacturer on 4.1.2, or you just want the stack um, unrooted 4.1.2, you can uh, check out those videos for Mac and for Windows right there, and how to install it 100% uh, stack, and that will delete all your data and. Uh, act like you uh, you bought it straight out from the store so that will act like it and this process will only work for GSM but if you're a type of person who wants like a RAM version like you've been installing a lot of RAMs and you just want to stack 4.1.2 stack RAM that's already rooted so you don't have to root your phone again and then that means this um, method is the video for you but today we're going to be installing a RAM that's on stack 4.1.2 so I'm assuming you already have Clackamide Recovery installed, and I'm assuming you already have this this file already downloaded. So let me actually install a file tra or a file manager to show you the, the file I'm talking about. So as you can see, I have a zip file right there that's called Big C Mangro Over the Air JZ 54 k sign zip. As always, I have a link in the description below on where you can get this uh this RAM for your Galaxy Nexus GSM. So you can just download directly onto your phone or you can download to your computer and transfer onto your phone. I just prefer you download directly onto your phone. It's a lot easier than actually just transferring onto your computer than to your phone. Uh, just a lot more time, but it's your choice. So make sure you have that zip file onto your phone and make sure it's zipped up. Make sure do not unzip it. So once you have that done, we're going to enter into Clock Mode Recovery Mode. So power off your phone and we're going to enter Recovery Mode. Alright, once it's shut down, press the volume up, volume down, and pop button all at the same time. When you feel a vibration, let go of the power, but keep holding on the volume up and volume down. And if you're confused about this, then obviously I'll have a step-by-step -step guide in, in the description below as well with the download link, all the ROMs and everything there. So just click on that link and that will give you a written step-by-step -step guide with um, screenshots as well. So just select recovery, pressing the volume up twice, and select power. Give it a few seconds to boot into. Okay, now we're gonna go to wipe data slash factory reset because we have to clear everything just like you're installing a custom RAM. Because this is technically a custom RAM except it's on stock 4.1.2. So we're gonna do a factory reset, give that a few seconds. Okay, now we're gonna go to wipe cache partition and select yes. And if you do not have the clock or moderate clock or my touch uh, version you can use the volume up and down and power button to navigate now we're going to go to advanced and wipe down the cache and select yes okay that is all done go back oh install the SD card choose it from SD card and find that big C zip file so yours might be in a folder if you transfer in a folder and if you download directly onto your phone check in your downloads folder it should be there but as you can see mine right there is uh, big C mango the same one I showed you earlier Select that one and select yes to install it. So this is going to install the 100% stack 4.1.2 and is already rooted. So you don't have to worry about rooting. Um, this is a great method if you have Clock Mod Recovery installed. If you're on stack 4.1.2 and you want to uh, upgrade to it, you should get an over-the-air update notification. But if you don't, you can just use those uh, use these two methods if you want. Or if you or if you want to restore it to stack, use those methods as well. So I'll be welcome to see installing. Okay, it's finished installing. Now we're just going to reboot our phone, so we're going to select go back and reboot system now. So it's going to reboot your phone on the stack 4.1.2 and obviously when this finishes booting you up, I will show you in settings and the stack one. So I'll give this a few seconds to boot up. Okay, there you go, you get the uh, Jelly Bean logo. And they haven't changed the logo from 4.1.1 to 4.1.2 as it was only minor updates. So I'll be watching this is done, um, booting up. It will take about 5 to 10 minutes, so please do be patient. Okay, so as you can see, uh, I have my setup screen now. So you can you can choose your language. And um, I'll choose my language. Obviously, it was English right here. You can choose yours. 
just select it and I'll be back when this is done setting up uh, when I'm done setting my Gmail and all that okay this is all set up so let's go into settings and show you I'm on the official 4.1.2 um, rooted so let's go into about phone and there you go you got 4.1.2 right there as well so you can check out the baseband kernel all that is stock um, the only difference is that it is rooted. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, very quick, simple, easy to do for Galaxy Nexus GSM. Please only do try on the GSM version or you will run into connectivity issues like calling issues, data issues, and Wi-Fi issues if you do try it on the Verizon or Sprint. So do not try it on the Verizon or Sprint, only GSM i9-250. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Uh, it really um, helps me out a lot. And uh, you can be notified when I upload new videos like these and round reviews as well and please don't forget to give me a big old thumbs up right there as well thanks for watching guys i'll see you next video and if you need help on this or anything any other video i've uploaded or any other android related problem at all it doesn't matter what de device it is you can cat contact me through twitter facebook google plus and email me all links will be in the description below and download links will be in the description below as well thanks for watching guys